Dr. John Eicher and Dr. Noah Zaitlin are with me now. You're both moderating a discussion on methods for genome and transcriptome-wide association studies. So, Noah, I'll start with you. What are the new methods for these studies? So, uh, genome-wide association studies are a classic technique in human genetics, and they uh, are starting to be adapted to very, very large sample sizes that the human genetics community is starting to collect. So, we're moving from the days of tens of thousands of individuals into the days of hundreds of thousands of individuals to a million individuals uh, simul simultaneously collected in one cohort. And uh, some of the talks in our session are going to be devoted to these very, very large uh, cohort studies. Um, another new technology that's been developed over the course of the last year or two from two different groups is something called the transcriptome-wide association study in which uh, gene expression is imputed using a reference panel of gene expression and genetic data collected from external cohorts and is used to infer what the gene expression might be in this large study where gene expression is not explicitly corrected. And so we test for association between the imputed gene expression or transcriptome and the phenotype or disease of interest. John, sell the session to me. Why is it important that people attend? I think it's really important that people attend because there are so many new ways to do GWAS now. It's not your standard old GWAS that we did 10 years ago. There's so many different tools and methods you can apply to your data in order to find new genetic loci associated with disease and traits. Is there something specifically you hope that attendees will take away from the sessions? I hope it opens people's minds so that to using other people's tools and to collaborating in order to get the best statistical methods in order to do genome-wide association studies. What about you, Noah? What, what do you hope people take away from it? I think that, that it's time to move beyond just finding individual genetic variants and to observe that there's other types of information that can be collected from the results of genome-wide association studies. So um, we've started to collect a lot of information about what's going on in cells, and so we can start looking for how uh, these features that we know about human biology reflect uh, the results of genome-wide association. So we might observe that in particular diseases we see enrichment in cellular activity in particular tissues, um, or that conserved features across evolutionary time are enriched for elements that are coming back from uh, genetic association studies. Wow, sounds very interesting. Thank you so much for joining me this morning, and best of luck with the session. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thanks.